נגיד שרק שתינו פה עולות מטפסות בהר. In the words of Sir Isaac Newton, if I have seen further, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. Today, the Hebrew University of Jerusalem is awarding honorary doctorates to 11 giants whose commitment and achievements have not only made a tremendous contribution to science, culture, and humanity, but are also paving the way for generations to come. I am humbled and honored to welcome to the stage the recipients of honorary doctorates from the Hebrew University of Jerusalem for 2019. The Honorable Linda Frum, Canadian Senator, author, journalist, human rights activist, and journalist, <coughs> parliamentarian, and philanthropist, Canadian Senator Linda Fromm, has long been a champion of human rights, interface relations, the Jewish community, and Israel. She has advocated for Iranian human rights, led legislation to prevent foreign influence in Canadian elections, increased Canadian Jewish heritage awareness, and encourage the corporate involvement of women. As a dedicated senator, she works vigorously for the benefit of Canada's parliament. Senator Fromm has had a great impact on Canadian society and the Canadian Jewish community via her roles within the Toronto Jewish Federation, United Israel Appeal, NGO Monitor, the Federal Holocaust Task Force, and the Mount Sinai Hospital Board. She invests her unthinking energies in support for arts and education organization and the Canadian Friends of the Hebrew University. Senator Fromm has been honored multiple times for her leadership and involvement, and her awards include the Golda Meir Leadership Award and the Rothschild Humanitarian Award. Thank you. President Cohen, honored guests, fellow honorees. A few years ago, I was asked to speak at a high school's prize giving day. I directed my words not to the pupils who would soon be called up to the stage to accept a hard-earned prize, but to those who would not. I told those students, do not worry that your name will not be called out today. Not everyone starts fast. Some are born for the longer run, for accomplishments that may take a lifetime of work to achieve. Today, for me, that message leaves the realm of metaphor and it is my reality. For the past 20 years, I have enjoyed two careers. I have devoted myself to volunteer work in the Jewish community in Toronto, and for the last 10 years, I've also had the privilege of serving my country in the Parliament of Canada. I credit my husband, Howard Sokolowski, for encouraging me, despite some initial reluctance on my part, to take on leadership roles within the Jewish infrastructure of Toronto. It was his own fine example together with his steady guidance that made me appreciate the immense satisfaction that comes with contributing to the achievements and welfare of others. I suppose my initial reluctance to get involved can be best understood by the famous Jewish joke about the waiter who nervously approaches a table of Jewish women he's serving to ask, ladies, is anything okay? <laughs> For those of you who have been Jewish leaders, you know what I mean. But after 20 years of serving my community in a variety of organizations and roles, I have not only become accustomed to our people's feistiness, I relish it. Community building also requires political engagement, which led to my career in politics, another feisty line of work. Being Jewish has always been a strong element of my identity and the Jewish values, which were instilled in me by my late parents and grandparents, have guided me in all that I have done and it's for this reason why this honor from this preeminent and prestigious Jewish institution 
is so deeply meaningful to me, and I thank you immensely for it. As a senator, I spent the past decade commuting between my home in Toronto to Ottawa, the home of Canada's parliament. Serving my country as a parliamentarian has been the greatest privilege of my life, but it has also meant that my family has enjoyed less of my time than they deserved. Even so, they have always been, excuse me, they have always been so generously supportive and loyal to my husband and to my dear children, Barbara, Sam, and Ellie, I wish to express my deepest love and gratitude to you. I share this honor with you because there's nothing that I can do that you don't make possible. I'd also like to express my enduring gratitude to Prime Minister Stephen Harper, who appointed me to the Senate, and whose legacy of friendship and support for the Jewish people is so magnificent and legendary. In a drawer in my desk in Ottawa, there's a small wooden maple leaf it was a gift from a Canadian-Iranian prisoner in Iran's Evan prison, who carved it himself inside the prison walls. This innocent man has been incarcerated in Evan prison since 2010. He is one of a number of dual nationals being held hostage by the Iranian regime. From the time of his arrest until today, I have advocated for his release year after year after year. Last year, his sister mailed me the maple leaf and told me he had asked her to send it to me. The reason it is tucked away in a drawer is because I cannot bear to look at it. Each time I open my drawer and I see it, it breaks my heart because, and it creates feelings of such rage and grief about the profound injustices in this world. I hope my life in politics and service has done something to remediate some of those injustices. I am always conscious of how much more there is to be done. I accept your generous recognition today. In the same spirit, I awarded those prizes to the students years ago. Aware that the road is long and hard, and the race is often painful and weary. This moment, with friends old and new, inspires me to keep lifting my feet in a marathon that is not yet over. Thank you.